Euclid's third proposition says that we are given two line segments where one is larger than the other. So AB is larger than CD. We have to cut AB at a point which makes A and that point line segment equal to CD. And we should be able to prove it as well. So let's carry out the first step. We draw a circle of radius CD with the center as. Then we choose a point on this circle anywhere. Now this circle will also intersect AB at some point. So let's mark it as E. And let's join A and B. So what we are saying is that AE is going to be equal to CD. And how do we prove that? We know AD is equal to CD because this circle was drawn with the radius CD. And this is nothing but AD is nothing but the radius. And AD is equal to AE since AD and AE both are the radius of the same circle. So since CD is equal to AD, which is in turn equal to AE, that means CD is equal to AE. So we have cut the line AB at point E so that AE is equal to CD. Now the fun part. I'll catch hold of D and move it around. As I move it around, if you notice, as the length of CD changes, the length of AE also changes. I can move either C or D. So that is proposition 3. Now you might find that it is pretty uh, simple. But remember, Euclid is building the base for much more complicated things. Again, as usual, in the description of this video, there is a link to a book where I'm describing all these 48 propositions of Euclid's book. One itself is called Elements. That's it.